towards the boxing ring is the England representative, Connor Tudbury. What a moment for him. Preparing for his world championship debut. His opponent is from Israel, and that is Jan Zak making his way towards the boxing ring. Chu Jung Suk of Korean Republic is the referee. And we are underway. Two world, two world Championship debutants facing off in this first preliminary round of the 86 kilogram cruiserweight division. The boxer wearing red who has come out aggressively going in pursuit of his man is Connor Tudbury. 21 years of age, he's making a bright start indeed. The man from Manchester. Boxes out of the Moss Side Fire Station Boxing Club up in Northwest. Competed in the Continental Championships for under 22 boxers earlier this summer in Rosetto. But his contest, his tournament came to an end after 30 seconds or thereabouts because he suffered an inside the distance defeat after an accidental clash of heads. He lost it on a 3-2 split. That was in the second preliminary round of the tournament. So his contest coming to an end before, this tournament coming to an end before the medal stages, but here he is on the world championship stage against Jan Zak of Israel, reigning Israeli national champion. He's being pushed on the back foot for the majority of this opening round as he attempts to come forward. He's picked off by a left hand from Connor T Tudsbury. Zach trying to establish his lead left hand, but he's being beaten to the jab here by Tudsbury, who possesses terrific speed with that lead hand. And he's timing his man wonderfully with that shot. Same shot in evidence once again. Tudsbury just electing to box on the back foot and on the perimeter of the ring. Janzak pressing forwards. There he scored with a good right cross after the command of stop from the referee. So inside the final minutes of this opening round, boxers off the mark with their attempted at jabs. Good work to the body by Tudsbury. <laughs> Left hand around the corner, not too far away from Tudbury. There he showed good variety, going body then head, tucking up nicely to cause the shots to slip off the side of his head. Good left hand to the body, landed by Yang Zak. The boxers get themselves in a tangle as Connor Tudbury tried to reciprocate with a body shot of his own. Closing 10 seconds of the, of the round, good left hand to the body on a resumption from Connor Tudbury. Putting that work into the body early in a bid to slow the man down later on. Good round of boxing. And you see what Connor Tudbury is having to sit on because the stool that was in that corner was demolished in the previous contest. Lee pulling into the ring to issue the instructions. One of the England coaches. Jan Zak electing to remain on his feet after the first three minutes. Bright start by Connor Tudbury. Good round of boxing. For my money, Tudbury has done enough to take it. But what say the judges? Well, 
Well, not able to bring you the live scores before the replay sequence, but Conor Tudbury came out very aggressively indeed before changing tactics. Around the midway point of the round, but this is the manner in which he started on the front foot, going in pursuit of his man. Then he demonstrated a terrific left jab while in range, targeted the body to good effect as well. Jan Zak had his moments, but I don't think he had enough of those moments to take the round. So into the second round then. With Connor Tudbury beginning this second frame on the front foot once again. Connor Tudbury here representing England, but he trains in his part of the GB setup at the English Institute of Sport in Sheffield. And of course, he hasn't had as much global international experience because the number one for GB for so long was the man who went on to take Olympic silver, Ben Whittaker. He has world championship bronze under his belt as well. After that terrific run in Tokyo, when he was beaten the gold medal bout by Cuba's Arlen Lopez, he not representing GB. Good left hand landed by Jan Zak, as Conor Tudbury spoken to about punching incorrectly with the inside of the glove rather than the knuckle part of the glove. In the most recent English National Championships in 2019, Conor Tudbury lost to the former Youth Olympic medalist Carol Itama, who's now operating in the professional ranks. Terrific strength in depth in the GB program as Yanzak goes looking for a 1-2. He too was competing in Rosetto in the European Under-22 Championships earlier this summer, but that was up at 91 kilograms in the heavyweight division, so he's elected to come down. Connor Tudsbury moving up in weight. Good work to the body and head from Tudbury with that backhand. Staying in the pocket, looking for that lead left. Brought a right hand over the top as well. Tucking up nicely with good defenses to repel that punch from Jan Zak. Right hand is an effective shot by the man in blue, but Connor Tudbury remaining concentrated, remaining in the pocket. He's breathing through a mouth that's open now. Connor Tudbury deep into round number two, Jan Zak. Looking to continue to press as he creeps his way forwards. Good left jab landed by Jan Zak, but Conor Tudbury comes straight back with a jab of his own. There's a backhand success for the man in blue. Good work to body and head from Conor Tudbury. Jan Zak scores with a right hand over the top. And this one, well, not really using the space of the boxing ring. Oh, that's a hard right hand driven into the body by the man in red. Left hook response from Jan Zak. But Conor Tudbury, he's the busier boxer here, and there was a good burst of punches to both body and head. Then nice movement to make the man in blue miss the punches going over the top. So two rounds in the book, both of them scored unanimously in favor of Conor Tudbury in a commanding position as we prepare to go into the third and final round. Conor Tudbury, the busier boxer throughout that second round of boxing. Janzak again having his moments. But remember with him coming down from 91 kilograms, perhaps finding the pace here at cruiserweight. A little bit quick, but then again, how will Conor Tudbury cope with the strength and power of a man who is naturally bigger. And therein lies the conundrum when boxers elect to move up or down in weight. So we move into the third and final round then. It's been forwarded a fairly rapid clip so far, this one. As Jan Zak, trailing in the contest, has got to try and do something different here. Good right hand, and then followed by a left from Conor Tudbury. Well, I thought it was a good right hand to the body, but the referee suggesting that it's straying into the realm of being a 
a kidney punch. So 40 seconds gone in this final round. Jan Zak, part of a four-man Israeli boxing team. There are nine boxers representing England here in Belgrade. Nice right-hand lead landed by Connor Tudbury and then boxing beautifully behind the lead left hand. So Connor Tudbury has the edge in speed and mobility and he's using those assets to good effect now, managing this contest very well indeed. Right hand lead is a scoring shot from Connor Tudbury. Trying to bob and weave in the top pocket is Jan Zak, but it's a big target that he's presenting to Connor Tudbury. And you see him plant his feet into the canvas and try and score with a right hand left hook. Did bring a left uppercut through the middle on the resumption. After that little non-verbal exchange between the two boxers, chopping right hand to scoring shot from Jan Zak. Connor Tudbury responds by coming out with a burst of punches, trying to rip a cut uppercut through the middle. So a minute to go in the final round. Nice lead left hand demonstrated by Connor Tudbury once again. Invaluable experience being accumulated by both of these champ both of these boxers here on the World Championship stage. Oh, that's a nice counter right uppercut to the body from Jan Zak. Connor Tudbury went for the lead left hook. It was off the mark by some distance. And while he was almost in midair as he brings a nice right hook and then looking for right uppercuts. Right hook again from Connor Tudbury, who's showing the willingness and indeed the ability to stand there and fight in the pocket against a man who is naturally bigger. Like every, every boxer who reaches this level to represent their nation here at the World Championships possess a tremendous dedication and determination, does Connor Tudsbury. Jan Zak, I'm sure his coaches will tell you the same about him. Connor Tudsbury impressing the GB coaches with his work ethic in training camps abroad and indeed the way he conducts himself at the English Institute of Sport in Sheffield. And a job well done on his world championship debut against Jan Zak of Israel, who was in the contest every second of the way, but just not doing enough to win the rounds or indeed the contest. But a valuable experience for him, the man who brings experience from the continental stage, making the step to world level competition and no doubt we will see him again in years to come the 21 year old but one suspects we're going to be seeing more of Connor Tudsbury right here in Belgrade let's get the official announcement And here's confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for Connor Tudbury, taking all five rounds for all three scoring judges. A very impressive performance indeed from Connor Tudbury. Respectfully acknowledging the third person in the ring. And we'll see Connor Tudbury again on the 31st of October in the afternoon session, having prevailed in this round of 32 first preliminary round contest. Some of the action from the bout that has just concluded.